easy as a country lad to make a dream come true. A full-blown wind took a heart a stern that blew from Timbuktu. We went down like an anchor chain, I thought that we would drown. Swam belly up and prayed. I don't know if I'm even going to be able to fish. The wind is just whipping. I mean, man, this is freaking bad. Really, really, really bad. Take a look at the ocean. Ah, crap! I can't fish in this. Throw a two ounce lead pyramid sinker out there and sometimes it'll fly right back in your face. The wind is so strong. God damn it. I can't even check into my hotel till three o'clock and it's uh, 11.44. Well, can you hear the fish? I'm gonna try and fish. I just remembered though, there is an upside to waiting out my little windstorm, and that is the fact that I brought lunch. Made some nice bologna sandwiches. Here's the fish in the wind. I'll listen to my beer bottles. My beer bottle is whistling. That's the wind in my beer bottle. It's freaking windy it is out here. Can't believe I'm doing this. But I am. Me too. <sighs> windy down there? <laughs> I'm about to find out for myself. I'm using a high-low rig today, a two-ounce pyramid sinker on a slider, so when this hits the sand out there and digs in, then the bait just slides, uh, then the bait will just slide back and forth. On the first dropper hook, I have a Berkeley sand shrimp, and at the end of the bait, I have a Berkeley minnow, I think it is. All right, guys, here goes. First cast. Oh, look, there's two seals right there. Two harbor seals. So if they're in here hunting right here, in these breakers, that means there's fish in here. If I can just get my bait out there a little ways in this damn wind. Damn it, I got here 10 minutes and I got water down my pants. You gotta watch these incoming tides because these sneaker waves will get you every time. I got a wet crotch. Wonderful. Anyhow, my first cast didn't produce anything. I cast straight out and boom, 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 boom. That sinker and terminal gear headed down the beach towards California. One guy down there fishing. I haven't seen him get a bite yet either. Or at least not a fish. And I've also been hit by three freaking sneaker waves. So my pants and waders are, they're wet. Progress. Something took half of my gulp sandworm. And I just saw that guy down there catch a great big slab-sided monster surf perch. That is a huge perch, man. That's huge. It's a big fish. That's a that's a big perch. My, I've never caught one that big. Look at that one. Okay. Yep. You're right in the zone. Oh my God. Oh. I got one just like that the other day. I've never seen him this big. I mean, I've. I saw a guy catch one last year, this time, down here, but I've never caught one that big. Uncooked shrimp. When the wind's blowing so hard, it keeps tying your line in knots while it's in the water. You know you've got some bad fishing conditions. We went down like an anchor chain, I thought that we would drown. Swam belly up and prayed like hell, you can't hold a good man down. I rode like Billy O, oh, made the silly O's, ended up in the rose and crown. Drank the night away, seems like yesterday when we went down. Now we're way oh, can blow the man down. Way oh, can blow the man down. Hey oh, can blow the man down.
after I put one of these Zoom green pumpkin tailworms on there and see if that doesn't change my luck. But this is brutal fishing down here, very difficult. And uh, I'm getting a little worried that I'm gonna be skunked at kissing rock. And I just, that just can't happen. Well, you beat me kissing rock, but I'll be back. Well, I'm finally off the beach at Kissing Rock. I'm gonna come down here and take a look at the river inlet. Oh my God. Okay. I checked the weather, of course, before I came over here on this trip. It's supposed to have up to 20 mile an hour winds today. I gotta tell you something, this is way more than 20 miles an hour and there's no freaking way I'd be fishing down here on the little beach over there. I think the bottom gets too rough when it gets like this for the fish. I think a little bit of roughness is good, but a lot of roughness like this, not so good. All right, I'm gonna go find my motel. I'll come down in there. I'm gonna use the micro camp for this trip, but I decided, hey, come on, man, it's your birthday. Treat yourself. I'm glad I did because I really wouldn't want to be camping in this weather. When it blows over here in the Oregon coast, it freaking blows. I am never staying at this motel again. Oh my God, what a nightmare checking in. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, yeah. This looks like it's worth 130 bucks a night. Don't you think? And right by 101. I kind of wish I had stayed in the micro camper now. I was so looking forward to this, having some fish and chips tonight, just like I always do. But, uh, look at that. Temporarily closed my ass. They will never come back from this. This place isn't gonna reopen. Well, good morning. Happy birthday to me. Saturday morning in Gold Beach and I'm gonna go out to the jetty, try to get some rockfish and maybe even some surf perch. I just filled this coffee up here at McKay's Market. Of course, I had to wear a mask to get inside the door there and I had to go in their door. And then once I got in there, I had to go to the deli, of course, and I they asked me what I wanted. I said, uh, large coffee, please fill this up. She took it from me poured the large coffee in a paper cup, came out around the counter, and then poured the paper cup hot scalding coffee into this. This is just insanity. Let's go talk to this guy here. See if he's had any bites yet. Anything yet? I got a good bite just now. Just now? Yeah. Think they're perch? Probably so. This is the mouth of the Rogue River. The Rogue River flows down from the mountains, even 100 miles from where we live, and out to the Pacific. And this little beach right here is usually a hot spot, but first you gotta get down to it. Twas devil's torment tack and rough that kept the fear at bay. But a navy sail on the starboard bow was getting in our way. Our broadside rained like a fire from hell We made the beggars pay But we did not see the giant wave That took our kill away So in the drink we go sink or swim O Davy Jones tried to take us down Wreckage drift away, soggy castaway Run in the ground Now we're Sail. Made a 
I know there's fish out there because I just saw a seagull catch one. Dove right in on the other side of the where the breakers start and came up with a small fish and he's fluttering right there. He must have eaten the damn thing. But I don't see it anymore. And as for me, no bites yet. God, I was just I'm just bringing it in and I thought I got snagged. Oh no! Oh damn it! I had a hell of a fish on there. I could see it in the in the water. I have no idea what it was. Maybe just a monster surf perch. I had one. See if I can find him again. Twas devil's torment. See how this guy did. Well, you got that bucket full? No? Do you have any at all? I had one on and got him right up to the gravel and somehow he got off. I wonder why it's this lousy fishing this morning. Is this the wind? Yeah. I have never done well in the wind. I usually get skunked. Well, keep at it. Take us down. Wreckage drift away, soggy castaway, running aground. Now we're way up, can blow the man down. Way up, can blow the man down. Hey, up, can blow the man on the man down. Boys, hold this man down. Right off the rocks, and then you're a goner. <laughs>